Hey guys, welcome to Breakthrough Time. I hope you have been enjoying the time of worship and that you have been engaging with the Lord and just being able to enjoy His presence. I want to speak to you on the topic, joy in the middle of the storm. You know, there are times in life where it seems that joy is the lost thing that we have, especially when we're going through situations that are so painful. You know, sometimes it's not that easy to have joy when everything that you have been having is pain, when, when you're worrying, when you're going to, to situations that seem that they aren't ending. You know, right now in the midst of the pandemic, probably there are many people that get up every day and they get up miserable, they get up all arrogant, all angry, and they aren't having joy. But you know, the Lord calls us to have joy. Why? Because joy is very important if we are to finish the race. Joy is very important if we are to overcome. And the devil knows this. That is why he day after day tries to steal our joy. Now let's look why is it that the devil tries to steal our joy. The Bible says in Nehemiah 8 verse 10, it says, Then he said to them, Go your way, eat the fat, drink the sweet, and send portions to those for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy to the Lord. Do not sorrow, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. I want you to notice that the instruction that we are given, it says, this is a holy day, for this day is holy to the Lord. You know, the Bible says, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Notice that in Nehemiah, we are given a command. And it is that we would not be sorrowful. Why? Because it is the day the Lord has made. And because it is the day the Lord has made. Because it is the day of the Lord. Because it is holy to our Lord. We should not be sorrow. But instead we should have joy. Why? Because the joy of the Lord is our strength. When we understand that. That every day that we get up. Every day that we open our eyes, it is a new day to rejoice in the goodness of God, to rejoice in the faithfulness of God, to rejoice in the love of God. We will be able to have joy as we rejoice in Him. And as we rejoice in Him, the joy of the Lord will strengthen us. It will rejuvenate us. It will allow us to keep on pressing. You know, when I was a little kid, sometimes my parents would tell me to do things and I didn't want to do it, but I had to do it. And when I would do it, I would do it all miserable, all angry, all sad, I mean complaining, arguing, murmuring. And guess what? When I would do things with that sort of attitude, this situation would become more painful. It would become more unpleasant. It would, it would drain me out. It would weaken me even more. But when I would do something with joy, when I would do something with, with that attitude of joy, even though it wasn't that pleasant, it didn't weaken me. The joy rather strengthened me and empowered me to keep on going. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 that Jesus endured the cross. It says, now I want you to notice that what it says, for the joy set before him. Jesus was able to enjoy, to endure, sorry, to endure the cross. Why? Because the joy was set before him. He made joy something key in the process to carrying and paying the sins 
for the sins of the world. He had joy and I believe that the joy that he had was this. I am going to redeem humanity. I am going to set them free. I am going to undo the works of the devil. When we face situations, we need to be filled with joy because it is the joy of the Lord that will allow us to finish the process successfully. To not give up in the middle of the process. The Bible says in Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 17 that God rejoices over us with singing. When we understand this, no matter the process that we go through, we understand that God rejoices over us with singing. Now imagine if God sings over us and if we rejoice in Him, what does that become? It becomes a celebration. And a celebration isn't miserable. A celebration isn't something unpleasant. A celebration is something that we enjoy. It is something filled in with joy. It is important that we understand that joy does not depend on what we have or on what we do not have. Happiness is dependent upon that. But joy is dependent upon something eternal, upon God Almighty, upon the Creator of heaven and earth. You see, probably you might not have a million dollars right now, but you can still have joy. Why? Because you have Jesus Christ. Happiness is dependent upon temporal things. That is why happiness comes and goes. But joy is eternal. That is why no matter the situation or the circumstance that we go through, we're able to have joy. Why? Because the joy is dependent upon Jesus. That is why joy is one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Why? Because true joy comes from God, true joy is above and beyond anything that we can have or not have. You see, the Bible says in Psalm 16 verse 11, it says, You will show me the path of life. Notice here, it says, you will show me the path of life. In other words, God will show us how we should live our lives. In your presence, it says, is a fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. That is amazing. We need to live our lives. Not miserable. You know, sometimes you, you look at people and it is like if they just drank uh, an, an entire bottle of Lime, you know, they look so bitter, and that that lime definitely had no sugar. And you know, you see people that are so bitter, but the Bible says that is not the way we should live life. We should live life in the presence of God. And if we are living life in the presence of God, there will be fullness of joy in us, no matter what we face. Why? Because at His right hand, notice here, at His right hand, him are pleasures forevermore. When we understand that we're able to rejoice in the middle of situations, in the middle of circumstances, and we're able to say, God, you are amazing. You are awesome. You see, we can have joy in the middle of the storm if we maintain ourselves in the presence of God. If in the middle of the processes of life, if in the middle of the situations of life, if in the middle of the things that we face, the adversity, the lack, you know, Habakkuk said, God, I will praise you in the abundance and in the scarcity, in the times of the fat cow and in the times of the skinny cow, I will praise you. Why? Because when we understand that our joy does not depend on a circumstance, but it depends on the God that we serve, we will rejoice every day. We will rejoice every day. And because we will rejoice, we will have that joy. And that joy will strengthen us when we feel like we cannot keep on going. When we feel like we cannot give another step. And we keep on rejoicing. And we keep on praising Him. And we keep on saying, God, You are good. As we do that, we will be strengthened more and more to keep on going. And to finish the goal. To finish the process successfully. To not quit 
in the middle of the road. Do not quit in the middle of the journey. Probably you might be saying, I feel like just quitting. I feel like just stop praying. I feel like just stop doing everything. No, 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 don't quit. Fill yourself with the joy of the Lord. Where do you find the joy of the Lord? In His presence. Get on your knees. Begin to pray. I mean, lift up your hands. Begin to worship. Close your eyes and just begin to declare His goodness. Open your mouth. Declare His goodness. Begin to praise Him. Begin to say, God, you are awesome. God, you are good. God, you are faithful. Begin to rejoice in Him. Open your mouth and just begin to praise Him and begin to get into His presence. As you do that, the joy of the Lord will overabound in your life in the middle of the storm. And the joy of the Lord will be your strength. So right now, I invite you, join me. And let's continue to worship. Let's continue to enjoy the presence of God. Let's continue to declare the goodness of our Father, of Abba, of our Daddy. And be able to say, God, you are with me. You will not abandon me and in the middle of this process I can rejoice because you are good and your mercy endures forever God bless you